trust. The delicate thread that binds journalism and the public seems to fray with every passing generation. Right now in Canada, our trust in news has reached an all-time low. It's a disconcerting plunge that strikes at the very heart of democracy. At its core, journalism isn't just about reporting facts. It's about holding power accountable and fostering an informed society. In order for journalism to have a positive impact on citizen engagement, people must trust the news. But today we're at a crossroads. In an age where all the information in the world is at our fingertips, we, the people, are in the driver's seat. We can seek out the news we want from the platforms of our choosing and cross-check information ourselves. Mainstream news was once our primary navigator and gatekeeper of information. It now faces fierce competition. The rise of social media influencers and citizen journalists has unearthed perspectives and narratives previously overlooked or underreported by traditional media. As the authority of news continues to crumble, so do the financial foundations of media companies. Newsroom layoffs continue making headlines as media companies struggle to keep up with evolving digital technologies and it's impacting the quality and depth of news coverage. My name is Iman Kassam. I'm a broadcast journalist of 13 years, and I think we need to build a deeper understanding of how disruptions to trust in journalism might continue to evolve. My Shirk-funded research aims to uncover how Generation Z Canadians decide what to trust and what is credible in the news. I'm focusing on Gen Z, a cohort defined by digital immersion because they are redefining what news is and how we interact with it. For them, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok are significant news sources, in part because they can actively engage with stories, transforming news consumption into a communal experience. As misinformation and fake news continue to flood their feeds, Gen Z is more likely to fact-check stories before accepting them as true. They exhibit a higher level of skepticism towards traditional media and question the motives and biases of mainstream news sources. For them, trust isn't blind, it's earned. Through one-on-one -on -one content elicitation interviews, I want to unravel the conscious and unconscious decisions that mold their understanding of truth. Why do they trust certain sources, and how do they justify or reason their choices? Understanding this generation is key to forecasting the evolution of trust and credibility in journalism. As they navigate the vast landscape of online information and misinformation, their thought processes, decision-making strategies, and judgments become invaluable indicators. My research can help the news industry pull itself out of a nosedive of disinterested audiences, guiding the industry in creating a news landscape that not only survives, but thrives for future generations.